I was born in Iraq, and after one year, I we moved to the United States. I was born in Iraq, Baghdad, and it was during the Iraqi war. There used to be a lot of war and fighting going on, and my dad was actually, I think he, he had a place in the government or something, and he didn't want uh, our family to get harmed. So he moved uh, to America so we could be protected. Um, then we decided after five years to leave Iraq because my dad was blackmailed. And so we had to leave to Syria. And then in Syria, there was the whole, you know, the bombing start happen. It like started to happen and we were just, we we're kind of reliving the same thing that went on, especially in the Iraqi war. So it was too much for us, we had to leave. Alhamdulillah, um, we, our case was accepted, unlike many others. Um, so Alhamdulillah, we came here to a safer place. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Here at Awesome Peace Academy, we have a unique program, ESL, which is catered to the refugee kids. Currently, because of the political climate, some of the Islamic schools do not want to get into the political of taking in refugee kids. There is some scariness out there and fear. But to us, we're educating refugee kids, we're giving them a second chance in life, a second opportunity, and we have been successful with the kids that came from Iraq, and now our next challenge are kids coming from Syria. I have been in ABA five months. Everything was difficult when I came here, when I came to America. ABA has helped me adapt. All the people helped me and just like speak with me English. Basically, the thing that they have in common is that they all um, just came here and I'm, you know, we're learning English together. The ESL program is essentially an English class. It meets um, three hours a day, five times a week. All of my students at this point are refugees and I think APA is the kind of school where the teachers will really try to follow the students and make sure that they're not slipping through the cracks. There's about 120 kids in town that are currently refugee Syrians. I wish we could cater to all of them, but we can't. We don't have the resources, we don't have the manpower, and we don't have the space. Hopefully, inshallah, when the school expands and we have more building space, we'll be able to take more students. But then this, again, requires us to reach out to you, our community members, our parents, and anyone you know to help support this program, to keep it going and keep it a success. After four years, um, spent in APA, I feel like it's home. I find it harder at public schools because there were students that used to mock me because of my religion. And when I came here, it was actually a way better experience than uh, the public schools that I used to be in. For somebody that came from, uh, from another country, having a place as a refugee that you could call home and feel safe in was very critical for me because of all the things I had to go through. And Alhamdulillah, APA provides that in so many ways. Over the six years that I've been here in Austin Peace Academy, I feel like I've matured more. It's because it's a better learning environment, because you can communicate with more Muslims and they could help you and everything. I just feel like this is a really good school.